Spitfires, Hurricanes and Blenheim aircraft filled the skies over the south coast today in commemoration of the 75th anniversary of the Battle of Britain. It's the most vintage aircraft in any one place since the Second World War and it's not likely to be a sight seen again for years to come. Well, here at Goodwood Aerodrome, 30,000 people turned up to watch this unique event. And all along the south coast, even more thousands of people would have wanted to show their support and watch this amazing fly pass that took place. But the weather was so bad here this morning that it's lucky it even took place at all. Prince Harry arrived for the flight briefing. He spent time with the Battle of Britain pilots and met the owners, operators and engineers of the 40 aircraft, which have come from all over the UK, Europe and America for this event. Oh, this is a very exciting day. Uh, it's probably the last time that we'd be able to have veterans flying on an anniversary of the Battle of Britain. And we've got Commander Tom Neill flying with us today, who's 95, uh, leading the big wing. So this is a very big day for us and a chance to take pause to remember what they did for us. It was on this day 75 years ago when the Germans launched its largest and most concentrated attack against London in the hope of drawing out the RAF. Just the sound of the Spitfire brings back memories for the veterans. If you were in combat in a Spitfire, you were full of confidence uh, because you know, or you knew rather, that you, you were flying your country's best you had been trained to the best possible standards and you are fighting for a cause you believed in. Oh, it is wonderful to see the Spitfires and I love to see them in the sky and the, all the maneuvers that they do, it's fantastic. It's one just starting up, isn't it? <laughs> Once the weather improved, the flypast went ahead, each beautiful treasured aircraft taking off one after the other. Prince Harry was due to take part, but gave up his seat for a 95-year-old veteran Wing Commander Tom Neal when one of the aircraft was grounded. He led the formation from the rear seat of a two-seat Spitfire. Today was a flying spectacle and a fitting tribute to those men and women who lived and fought through the Battle of Britain 75 years ago. Laura Hawkins, Forces News, Goodwood.